This is Rick Shields. He's a massive golf YouTuber and tests a lot of crazy golf gadgets. But I've never seen him with any ridiculous golf bag, so I made one that I think he'll like. We're going to surprise Rick with the golf bag and some of its hidden features in England where he lives. But first, let's just appreciate the absurdity of this bag. Should I, uh, should I try to catch it and, and swing? <laughs> oh, damn it. And honestly, it's so satisfying to see the clubs fly through the air so consistently. So I've been using this remote to control the golf bag and select a specific club, but what's even cooler is that this whole thing is voice activated and it can give me a recommendation just like a real caddy. Check it out. I have 165 yards. 165 yards, nine iron. So it hears me, knows how far I hit all my clubs, and it can give me the right club for the specific shot that I need. And it can even take into account different variables like wind and elevation. So if I say, I have 165 yards steeply uphill with some wind in my face, it says, 165 plane 181. Seven iron. It takes into account all those variables and once again, it shoots me the correct club. <laughs> and now it was time to fly to England to surprise Rick. I met Rick, he showed me around his studio, and since the local courses were closed for bad weather, we brought the golf bag to a nearby driving range. Yeah. Okay, um, let's go, let's go eight iron. Eight iron? Yeah. All right, here it comes. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> of course it. Nice, good catch. That is so good. I wanted to go again. Um, pitching wedge. I'll tell you when. All right, when did three now? comes out? Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> That is brilliant. And you said he can do voice command. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I want the driver. So you can say, I'm teeing off or give me my driver. All right, you ready? I'm teeing off. It's the driver, is it gonna go longer? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I absolutely love? By the looks of things, these clubs have definitely been tested with this machine because they are battered. So now's probably a good time to explain how all of this works. And in a minute, Rick and I are gonna take this on the golf course and spoiler, it didn't go exactly as planned. Generally how it works is the golf bag rotates until the specific club you asked for is aligned with this air cylinder at the bottom. Once it's aligned, 120 PSI of air rushes into the air cylinder, which extends it and shoots out the club. And 120 PSI is no joke. It's enough to shoot out your clubs or break a few things. The 
air comes from a compressor in the golf push cart and all the electronics and batteries are stored here as well. To get the bag to rotate consistently and accurately, I added the switch at the bottom, which gets clicked every time a club goes by. So if you need a club that's four clicks away, the bag rotates until it's clicked four times and then stops to shoot out your club. And it's powered by this pretty big motor and gearbox mounted at the bottom of the bag. And all of this happens automatically with the software I wrote. To prevent the clubs from hitting each other, I fitted the grip of the club with this 3D printed part. It slots into place with another part at the bottom of the tubes, keeping everything aligned. Real quick, have you ever seen the art made from Rubik's Cubes? Well, it's super cool, and I'm gonna be making a robot that solves Rubik's Cubes and makes that art for you. So if that sounds interesting to you, you should subscribe. Oh, and I launched a Patreon to help fund these very expensive projects. They can be ten to $15,000. So if you wanna support the channel and learn more about it, there's a link in the description. All right, Rick, so we're here at the Mirror in the UK. First hole, what do we got here? Par five, straight down. You wanna hit a little driver. Okay. Kinda stay left, because a lot of water down. On the right. Okay, awesome. Rick crushed a drive down the middle, and I tried to play it safe with a three wood, but with Rick watching and his wise words of advice. Little tip, don't go right. Okay, don't go right. The right is dead. Uh oh. Oh my god. I hit it right in the water. Thankfully, the bag has your back. When you hit a ball, slice it into the water like I do, it shoots you a new one, and no you can tee up again, way. hit another shot. Whoop! Good god. <laughs> I hit another drive and that golf ball feature got Rick thinking. Okay, I've got an idea. Yeah? I wonder if it'll activate trick shot mode. Trick shot mode activated. And when it was my turn on my very first swing, this happened. Deactivated. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Whoa. How did you even do that? And not only can the golf bag help you beat Rick in a chipping competition. All right, Rick, that was pretty good, but uh, I think my golf bag can do a little better. But after a bad hole or a bad round of golf, the bag has you covered. 